Hey guys, Ryan Lutz here. Today I want to show you how I tear apart my car in between events uh, just to do my rebuild. Just want to show you kind of how I take it apart into clips. So first things first, I usually take the shocks off. Okay, and the shocks are done. Can we put to the side. And then usually I like to take the engine out. So I will take off first the linkage arm and then take my five, five or sorry, my 2.5 ball wrench and I undo it from the top. Now for most cars, uh, well, these top screws, I do it from the top because it allows you a very small adjustment opportunity once you re-put it in the car to set your mesh. Um, but once you're close, it just allows you to fine tune it a little bit by like pressing the engine towards the spur gear or away from it. Um, but I like to leave the bottom screws because you don't want those falling out during a race. And generally once you have it all set, you don't have to adjust very much. It's just fine little adjustments depending on the wear of your clutch bell and spur gear. Once those four screws are loose, I will take off the fuel line and the pressure line from the tank, attach the tank fuel line to the pressure nipple, and then attach the exhaust to the fuel nipple on the engine. And undo my exhaust pipe. You can do it from a couple of different spots, but, and there you go, there's another clip. Here's your engine. And exhaust is all separate. So next, take out the tank. Okay, tank is out. And then now for radio tray area. area so when I take this off my servo I make sure that it's completely straight and that way when I put it back on I can put it back on completely straight and don't have to worry about really really resetting my trims it should be just right so when I put that screw back in there I do it very lightly as to not disrupt its centering position and then then I can take out my radio tray and also the front and rear clip. So another thing to check, make sure all your screws, you got all the dirt out of them. I use an X-Acto personally, as I use an X-Acto for everything it seems. Okay. screws aside and we have a radio tray all loose and then we can do our front and rear clips yeah, I try to keep my screws kind of in order from which from where they came out Has to be able to put them back into the same spot. Now some people are purists with their tools and don't do what I just did, but this thing's been through the ringer for 10 years and still going strong, so. Put up with all my abuse. Okay. So there's your 
your rear clip. And your front one. Front clip. And we've got our split center diff. chassis be able to clean all that off take the side guards off if I want to get that really clean we got our center diff and then we got the front and rear clips that we can further take apart if needed uh, just to be able to clean it off go over it you know check your radio tray make sure you got no screw no uh, lines bents or caught anywhere clean everything off and that's how I take my car apart to begin working on it hopefully that helped you out a little bit in your maintenance and come back for the next one. Thanks guys, bye-bye.